at home a little more in-depth overview on how the 175 grain edge TLR from Federal performed shot out of a 300 PRC and then a reduced load simulating long range. Go check out submoashooting.com and get sample packs. Maybe you save yourself some money in load development. The retained weight on that high velocity load was 137.4 and it impacted the gel at just over 3200 feet per second. I did fire two low velocity loads into my gel blocks trying to catch them. I was not able to catch either one. One was just barely over 1400 feet per second and the other one was just under 1500 feet per second. Starting on the left here we have that bullet starting to open up giving us a good permanent wound cavity at about seven eighths of an inch. We have the large, really large section of that permanent wound cavity running to the eight and a half inch mark. Tapering down, carrying decent permanent wound cavity to the 16 inch mark. Still carrying some permanent wound cavity, you can see the line all the way till it had exited this gel block and was about three inches into my second gel block for well over 30 inches of penetration. That uh, larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is four inches. And then on my low velocity round, you have that bullet starting to open up about inch and a quarter to an inch and three eighths. You're carrying good permanent wound cavity to just past the uh, 16 inch mark. Then you're exiting the gel block at 22 and 3 eighths. That really good section of that permanent wound cavity running from that uh, inch and a half mark to the 15 and a half inch mark. At its largest portion is 2 and 3 eighths. But it looks like it's averaging a pretty good two inch permanent wound cavity through there. So overall, you know, excellent performing bullets as far as they do dump energy and do damage. I think if I were to complain anything about these is if, uh, you know, you, you should always, always, always know your target and what lies beyond. These are bullets that are going to exit on almost any situation you put them in but they're still going to dump more than enough energy to drop the animal you're shooting so it'd be uh, for your larger heavy gamed animals your, your uh, elk and moose would be an excellent performing bullet let me uh, chop these gel blocks apart so we can see a little bit more of what's going on in here I want to see if I can I don't know how well this is showing up in the video Show you a little better detail here. That low velocity load doing quite well. And that high velocity load. It's getting a little harder in the camera to see that pin line there, but you can see it carrying all the way through. portion of that permanent wound cavity on that high velocity load and you can see it did a beautiful job coming here on this low velocity load you should be able to see the difference in the two and we can here's my one I was measuring off of and there's my other one behind it you know, both traveling between 14 and 1500 feet per second did a pretty pretty darn good job overall I really can't complain with that performance hope you guys enjoy the video